So this is the Lenovo Mirage. Uh, Mirage Solo. Mirage Solo. And then that's a Mirage camera. Yes. Perfect. And this is with Google Daydream standalone. Yep. And uh, anything else? Can you tell me about the headset? Of course. Um, so a couple of the big selling points is firstly you'll notice that there's no wires anywhere on this. Um, there isn't a place to put a phone in. Um, all of the compute, battery, uh, sensory, it all lives on here. So you basically just buy it, turn it on, and you're in, in virtual reality. Um, additionally, you'll notice that there's a couple of cameras up here on the front. For world sense. Correct. They are the headset to at least see and understand the world around it. It looks for patterns that are visible in light, and then as you start to move, it'll update your position in virtual reality. Um, as a result, you don't need any lighting, beacons, or anything else. So it really is uh, one of the easiest to use uh, high fidelity VR experiences on the market. Cool. Um, it also, I guess, for a little bit of trivia, it's also rendering at a higher frame rate than uh, the average uh, daydream experience. So just generally things are feeling pretty good. So one thing that there was an issue with with smartphone VR was it overheated, it had a yeah. limited time you could use it. Is there a, a battery life or a thermal limit to how long you can use a headset? Thermally, I'm not aware of one at this point. And I should also I should preface this that while I am an engineer, um, this is still in design validation. Okay. And there's a few more months of requirements that are going to go into it. So battery life also is not finalized to my knowledge. Okay. However, we've been running these all day, yeah. honestly, and they're... They're still on. Yeah. Um, granted, it's like demo sessions, so it's off and on and off and on. Fair. But that's kind of how people use it, too. For yeah, it kind of makes sense. So, unplugged, I, I mean, I, we felt comfortable running these for at least an hour, hour and a half, and I can guarantee you we're not done optimizing it. So, um, take that as a ballpark, not as gospel, as okay. far as how, how true that and is. And can I get, like, a full 360 yeah, to... Of so that's a Type C connector for power. Yes. Okay. Um, it also has. Um, and can you charge it while you're using it, or does it have to be? Yep. You can. Okay. Although then you'll have a, a cable, which is not fair. Not convenient. Um, it also has room for an SD card if you are just taking a bunch of photos on this. You want to load them directly into here. Okay. Yeah. So sweet. Um, and that's just the lenses. Yeah. This is the head adjustment. Correct. You can see that strap. based on that angle, the fact that it's a very firm material and you've got this extra pad up here, it does a lot to distribute the weight towards the back of the head, so it feels more like a hat than a mask. Okay. So ergonomically, uh, it feels pretty good. Cool.